guys welcome to my kitchen so I am doing dishes and hoping the dogs will stay away and not bother me when I'm cooking but um, so anyway I wanted to show you guys something that I do for food prep uh, one of the ideas that I do so I always have um, food prep I usually do for my snacks and lunch my breakfast is always a protein shake with like I usually do like spinach and half cup berries half a banana sometimes I'll do banana and peanut butter and a chocolate with a chocolate protein um, powder and that's what I do and I do it with water um, I don't really like it with milk or almond milk so I just usually do water and ice or I'll do frozen bananas um, I freeze them put them in a little baggie put them in the in the freezer um, super easy convenient and it's good for on the go so today what I'm going to share with you is actually a tuna recipe so it's gonna go you can do it on um, bread or you can even do it on like whole green uh, whole grain tortilla wraps um, but what I'm gonna do is actually put it on a bed of spinach um, I really like doing that another thing you can do too is get those big romaine lettuce leaves and you can kind of make a little lettuce boat out of it super super simple I'm gonna show you guys real quick how it what it's gonna be inside there so um, what I like to do is I'll go ahead and strain one can of the tuna in water right so tuna is very good for you um, has lots of protein in it some people don't like tuna but I do and you know what's funny my husband doesn't like fish but he likes tuna which is like one of the strongest smelling fish there are but he likes it so whatever I guess <laughs> so whatever to get hit for him to eat healthy because you know he actually doesn't eat as healthy as I do which kind of sometimes sucks because I want him to eat healthier um, but he likes the sweets and you know it's one of those things that you can't tell people what to do they have to be ready to change on their own so um, you know he'll change when he's ready plain and simple so anything anyway what I'm doing right now is cutting up a small um, orange pepper so it's probably about half of an orange pepper right here the small one. it's one of the you know the little mini mini peppers so I'm gonna put that finely chopped in with my in with my tuna um, and then what I'm gonna do is use mustard so you know a lot of times tuna helper tuna salad ha not tuna helper but tuna salad has like that uh, mayonnaise base so we are getting away from the mayonnaise base and keeping it lower calorie so mustard is like zero calories so why not use mustard right um, then a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper I wonder if I can move this down so you guys can see it so it's better maybe anyway so a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper um, and then I'm going to do some I have some plain Greek yogurt here it's not the vanilla it's just plain and I'd probably say about We'll go two tablespoons of this. So there's one, and there is two. And then you know what's really good after, like, cause you don't always have to use the whole thing in plain, but if you put a little bit of, if you put a little bit of honey in this, oh, it's so good. Just a little bit, stir it all up, it's delicious. Just afterthought, you know, if you have leftover yogurt. Okay, so we have that. We got the salt and pepper in. Um, and then the secret ingredient is one egg. And you see this? Watch this. Look at how easy these eggs peel. I cannot believe it. You know why? Because I bring my water to a boil. Okay? I put the eggs in the water. I let them boil for 17 minutes. No joke. 17 minutes. Boil on high. And they peel just like that I mean look at that so easy love it so that's how I always do it I've tried different ways to to boil hard you know to boil eggs and this is the one that works best for me so I actually got my husband and his whole family do it to do it my way <laughs> it works though you know I'm like that's why I'm the queen of deviled eggs for the holidays that's kind of my thing so anyway you're just chopping up this um, egg this is also going to give you some extra protein Okay, 
So chopping up that egg and then you're just gonna slide that, hopefully not get any of the shells in there, slide that into our bowl here. Okay, and that is pretty much it. All you gotta do is stir it up. We're gonna use Freya's fork, okay? We're gonna stir it up real good right here. And if you wanted to, I mean, you could probably put salsa in here. You could, you know, do more, maybe some garlic, um, pretty much anything like that. So just stir it up really, really good, just like so, right? And then you just put this on top of like a bed of lettuce, or like I said, you can do some whole grain toast or whole grain uh, tortilla wrap, anything like that will really work. So um, super simple, easy, healthy. I mean, seriously, what did it take? Like not even five minutes. If I didn't talk, it'd probably take me three minutes to do this, okay? So um, give it a try. Tell me um, if you like it, and I hope you enjoy. Bye.